So both my parents are scientists. Uh, my father was an astrophysicist. He did experimental astrophysics at the University of Oxford. Uh, my mother taught high school physics and maths, so I was exposed to a lot of science from a very early age. So I guess it's one of those things that I, you know, always thought about as a possible career because I really enjoyed it and it wasn't something that I felt was an odd thing for a girl at that time to do. But my real interest in deciding the area of science I wanted to go into came when I was about uh, 13 or 14 and we got taken on a field trip down to the University of Oxford to see their electron microscopes and I was just fascinated by the fact that I could see with this microscope um, inside materials and inside systems and that really determined what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. So I think there's more recognition now that having a diverse group actually makes for a better approach to solving scientific challenges and that could come from people with different backgrounds, could come from gender differences, could come from educational differences and backgrounds. But I think it really is recognised that that's the best way to approach a problem and that assembling teams of people who look exactly like you is not the way forward. To me, the most important thing is the pipeline. If we don't have women who are interested from an early age in science, the future's bleak. And the earlier that we can start that interest and passion for science, I think the better. Just making sure that right the way through there are opportunities, that there are enough mentors available. And having people who can talk to you about issues when you have issues, having allies and advocates who'll speak up for you, all of those things are really important. And I think we are, we are getting there on that. It's, it's becoming much more common, but I think that needs to grow even further.